In this video we will be talking about a polymer called hyaluronic acid. A polymer is a substance that is made by joining either the same or similar small molecules, called monomers, together. Polymers can occur naturally, or be created in a lab, or factory. Some examples of polymers in your daily life include plastic bags, styrofoam cups, paint, and even the starch in bread. Hyaluronic acid is naturally found in the body. The average person has around 15 grams of hyaluronic acid in their body. It is mostly found in the skin to help with repair, or in synovial fluid between joints, like your shoulders, elbows, and knees to help with movement. Hyaluronic acid is a major component in the extracellular matrix, which is responsible for tissue regeneration and skin repair. As we mentioned before, a polymer is made up of many repeating monomers. For hyaluronic acid the monomer is a disaccharide, which is a type of sugar molecule. This long chain of repeating disaccharide molecules gives hyaluronic acid a stable structure, meaning it doesn't easily react to other chemicals and allows it to have special properties like having the ability to trap water and so it is able to hydrate and lubricate. Hyaluronic acid has many properties that make it unique. One of them is the ability to trap water molecules, making them available for the tissues and cells inside your body. This also helps to maintain water balance in your skin. The skin has many different layers, the epidermis is the top layer of the skin, and the dermis is a thick layer beneath, the smaller hyaluronic acid molecules will be able to go to the deeper layers, while the bigger molecules stay at the top. While we humans naturally produce hyaluronic acid, when we want to use it to make different products for commercial use, we get hyaluronic acid from plant or animal sources. Some plant bacteria naturally produce hyaluronic acid, which can then be collected and purified for use. Hyaluronic acid can also be extracted from animal sources, such as a rooster's comb, but plant bacteria is more commonly used to produce hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is able to help with many issues within the body. In terms of skincare, hyaluronic acid has anti-aging properties and helps heal skin injuries. Hyaluronic acid plays a key role in tissue regeneration and skin repair, and so it is able to aid in wound recovery. For joint pain, it has been found that hyaluronic acid injections are able to reduce inflammation and restore lubrication in joints. For acid reflux hyaluronic acid supplements are able to reduce the damage to the esophagus. Studies on bone strength show that high doses of hyaluronic acid are able to help build new bone tissue. Also hyaluronic acid eye drops are able to help dry eyes. Hyaluronic acid comes in many different forms, such as in capsule supplements for skin and joint hydration, as a serum for skin hydration, or in a syringe for eye surgery. Hyaluronic acid is known for its hydrating properties, but today we'll be comparing polymers and materials with similar properties to hyaluronic acid glycerin also has hydrating properties and it is most commonly used for wound and burn treatment. When comparing glycerin and hyaluronic acid, although they are both hydrating, due to hyaluronic acid being naturally found in the body, it is better absorbed for treatments unlike glycerin. AHA acids are commonly used in the cosmetic industry to reduce the look of wrinkles and fine lines. When comparing AHA acids to hyaluronic acid, AHA acids are a much stronger acid when it comes to skincare, and so for the best results it is ideal to combine them with another serum to ensure they're not too harsh on the skin, and hyaluronic acid can be combined with AHA acids for great skincare results. Hyaluronic acid is naturally found in the body, but as you grow up, the production of hyaluronic acid starts to decline. There are certain foods that are high in hyaluronic acid, as well as foods which help your body increase hyaluronic acid production. These foods include bone broth, soy-based foods, and citrus fruits. Thank you so much for your attention and we hope you learned a few new things about polymers especially hyaluronic acid.